all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. First thing I want to say is thank you all for the love and support lately. Thank you so much. If you're brand new, I'll be doing Killer Clowns videos for the time remaining until the game comes out. So be sure to hit subscribe for never to miss a Killer Clowns video. Looping could be a problem. And I know what you're saying. Have you played a game? No, I haven't. Just hear me out. But I do have a lot of hours on every asymmetrical game that's come out. I was even there when DBD had no entity block for broken loops. You should be ashamed of yourself. Actually, you should come out and apologize. Also in TCM, looping is there, but it's not like vaulting over a pallet or a window or whatever. In TCM, there are areas where you cannot get through with certain characters like Johnny. What you're seeing right now is a big problem, such as if you go inside the slaughterhouse, the survivors could just camp there. And this has been done in almost a lot of asymmetrical games where as a killer role, you cannot do anything. This is a terrible design. Which is the dumbest thing ever because it's like, bro, let me just fight this person, but the other person, the survivor side, is doing what they need to do survive but it sucks when you're on the other side of the killer and you can't do anything that's why certain killers in dvd are more favored to play as such as the nurse that you could just like teleport to the other side yes there are certain characters like hitchhiker that can go through walls what they want you to do is call for a teammate to help you let me tell you something from playing these games Nobody likes to play with randoms and randoms don't like to talk. For most cases, it's really rare that you find somebody that wants to communicate with you and work with you when it comes to these type of games. And this is a team based game. Come on, we're supposed to be a team here. Not to thrash on the looping because again, we haven't played the game and there's little gameplay of human. But uh, what I can tell you is that there is a catch to looping in this game as a human. Side by side, if you take a look, if you don't hold looks like the shift button which is the sprint button you get a normal vaulting which is okay whatever it's a little bit buggy but again this is early gameplay footage and on the right side if you look closely he kind of stumbles now i know what you're saying well what's the big problem in this clip jay but the big problem is if you look this person could possibly just stay here if they wanted to in this area they could just go back and forth back and forth i see the problem oh do ya <laughs> But have no fear. I'm gonna give you five reasons why you shouldn't be freaking out when you're playing clown towards these survivors. Now, if you do enjoy my content, a thumbs up can really help out. Fine, fine, I'll do it. All right, with the first one, we do know that every clown has a range weapon. Either it's a shotgun or the little clown pistol that we all know that you can use. That's gonna be with every clown, I assume, because that's the one that you use for the cocoon. I do know that you could slow them down with it, but they can still outrun it. I do know that if the humans are weaker, like they have low health, they're easy to cocoon. And this is where their stamina is gonna come to a part. So, you know, you're gonna keep them there for a while, but it looks like you have an opportunity to either cocoon them or damage them. There are so many weapons that haven't been confirmed yet. Different clown roles will be introduced later on and we'll see what they have in the future. But I want it now! Number two, I assume there's gonna be a ping system because they have an emo wheel and I'm assuming one of them could be ping. If not, that's okay because if that doesn't work, the ping system, if they don't have one, you're gonna be able to use your voice, which I hate to put it in this category, but it's pretty much the same thing but ping system is really great if they do add one. We know there is an emo wheel, so there is a marker that you can leave on the map for one of your teammates. Possibly you can look at like, hey, you keep on leaving markers and they probably get a notification. Like, hey, what, what is he talking about? What does he want? Obviously, if you're on the voice, it's easier just to say, hey, I need some help over here. But I'm thinking outside the box for the people that just are shy or they just don't want to talk. So again, the ping system could be a huge factor in this game. <laughs> Now, this one, I didn't want to include, but it's there, but we don't know anything about it. It seems like there is a chat box or a message board. I think that's what it is. If anybody knows in the comment section, please let me know if this is a chat box where you can type something in there. Now, if you're on PC, it's going to be easier. But if you're on console, it's going to be harder because you have to like type each word. Maybe there's like you know, help me or over here type of things where you could just push it. Like in uh, Home Sweet Home, they had something like that, which was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in 
in an asymmetric game whenever you need to help your little icon will pop up and say help me i need help as a survivor which was really cool and i really wish a lot of asims did that because it's something so small but it helps out so much you have no idea it's funny isn't it the things that matter at number three i have the lackeys now i do know the more cocoons you get the more lackeys you get now i couldn't find any pax gameplay of this but there is gameplay of lackeys jumping on humans and it's been confirmed that's what they do Attack! if they spot one they they chase them and then they jump on them they're not very fast but if you're in one area and you're dealing with one survivor staying at a you know looping area a lackey could possibly body block them or even jump on them and now you have your chance to either cocoon them or kill them it seems like they've thought about these type of things for like where you know what if one person stays at an area oh like i can't help you okay there has to be a lackey around here and then maybe if you target the survivor the human the lackeys notice it and they head towards you that'd be great we don't know again there's no gameplay of it that I can't find, but lackeys seem like they will help you in that situation. Come, mini me. The last one I want to talk about is the noise detection. That's going to be very crucial. As you see, every survivor has a noise detection. So if your teammate even has a 1% brain, they will notice a lot of noises. This is something in other Sims games they do as well. They put like a noise detection that, hey, there's something going on over here. What was that noise? Not to mention you can teleport anywhere on the map and the cooldown doesn't seem that long as well. I don't know. People have told me that it depends. Like if you get more cocoons, the cooldowns give you like a percentage off. Work with me like five seconds off i don't know again i really wish i could play the game man i really wish i could just try the game myself unfortunately i couldn't make it at pax east because i had to go to like the hospital for my eye and my eye! the gameplay looping seems more towards friday 13th so in friday 13th you could just camp a window but the beauty about that if you did camp a window is that it, you could break it and it would damage them something like tcm needs if letterface you know thrusts a crawl space like the ones that in the walls he should leave like damage on it so you can't like go back and forth on it and then another thing that i forgot to mention that you can lock doors on clowns as you see in this clip right here you can lock doors jump the window so you can waste a clown's time a lot i do have a lot of videos planned for killer clowns but i might take a break until we get some more information about killer clowns i have other videos that i'm going to be talking about so if you see a random topic it would mean a lot for me that you just check it out even for like two minutes just to see what i was talking about if not it's okay it's all good it's all good speaking of a random topic did you know that marvel is coming out with the overwatch type game yeah it's pretty interesting i did a video talking about it and i do plan to make another video doing like my top 20 wish list characters so if you want to get on the early ball on that and check out the game check out the video at the end my name is jay and thanks for being you